Hello everybody, welcome to my YouTube channel. I am Carla, also known as Little Fat Devil, and today I am... Uh, <laughs> Hello everybody, welcome to my YouTube channel. I am Carla, also known as Little Fat Devil, and today I am going to be reviewing two knives. I do love double reviews because it allows me to show you two different sizes of the same knife that will, you know, appeal to different types of people. And, uh, you know, it's kind of like a two in one. So I think it's pretty neat. So today I will be reviewing the CVV Mastodon and the CVV Mini Mastodon. So interestingly enough, you know, I actually have given this one away already. So uh, after the review is going to its proper owner. And this one is actually um, one of the knives that we have in our Apex Pass Around group, which is a group of people, knife lovers, knife reviewers, and um, it got passed around to me from the group. So I'm very thankful that I'm able to review both versions of the same knife uh, because of that. So thank you to the group so much. All right, CVV Mastodon, you guys, it's kind of a statement knife, right? Um, as you guys can see, I think the main feature here that's very noticeable is the shape of the blade. Um, it is resembling a cleaver knife um, that, you know, they used to be um, popular in butcher shops and the hole right there at the uh, top of the blade was really to hang the knife when you were done. Well, you don't need to do that with the CVV because it does have a deep carry clip, which um, it's actually pretty neat. And um, I do love deep pocket carry clips. Uh, I wonder why not everybody does that. Um, I feel like, you know, half of my knives are not deep pocket carry. Why? I don't really know, but it's a huge, um, huge plus. It's definitely something that's necessary. Okay, so maybe I'll um, talk about the Mastodon, which is gigantic, you know, I make big knives look even more ginormous. Um, but again, it's a statement knife. It's kind of a, you know, manly looking knife, if that makes sense, especially uh, with the black handle. So let me give you specs on this one, if uh, my computer helps. So the overall length on this one is nine inches. The blade length is, is uh, 3.75 inches, cutting edge of, 3.625 blade width 1.50 thickness of 0 0.15 and for the handle we have five and a half inches 1.125 width and 0 0.52 thickness the handle is a g10 very nice um the steel is a um 9 cr18 mov which you know it's a globally popular steel um, that allows for, you know, budget-friendly knives, um, but with some good qualities like edge retention, you know, and corrosion resistance and wear resistance and so on. So not bad, good good steel um, for the knife, right? Um, this knife, actually the Mastodon, the big Mastodon, is actually worth $55. And the mini Mastodon is actually worth um, 47, 48, depending on where you find it. So between both of them, you know, you shouldn't spend more than $60. Um, on the big one, maybe 45 to 50 on the small one. And that honestly qualifies them as my budget friendly category, which I do have a playlist here on the channel if you are interested in those, but less than $60 to me is a budget friendly knife. Um, you know, you get um, a, a good product that you're not gonna be really sad if uh, you mess up uh, or if you have to use, you know, in, in very uh, weird scenarios. Um, and you know, for the most part, some of them are kind of neat. I do love the design of this knife. Um, and this one uh, is made in China. You know, a lot of you are gonna poop on that. I get it, you know, some of you don't like it. Um, but some of these knives made in other countries allow for a broader range of pricing products. Otherwise we will all be having knives that are $150 plus, right? So, you know, there's something to be said for that. Um, it allows for a lot more people to be able to use quality knives. Uh, also, the Mastodon has the lanyard holes at the top, right there, right there. It comes in various different colors. Um, I do like the um, red quite a bit. And honestly, these knives are designed so that the flipper is actually trustworthy, <laughs> if that makes sense, which I like because I have said this before and I agree with my statement as I continue to flip flipper knives. 
under a stress situation you know flippers might not be the best deployment option however this is not a tactical knife this is a a sort of like an everyday carry sort of knife something that you would use as a utility knife in the in the shop um out um in the field you know camping hiking outdoor stuff so i'm not concerned with you know the potential misuse of the flipper however this one is actually kind of nice it has worked uh, I have not really missed it, which is which is good, uh, even after a lot of uses. And um, they are comfortable to hold. Um, I do like a handle that's sort of neutral. So let me show you in this one, actually. So the handle, it's it doesn't have, you know, like a, um, a, a really interesting shape. It's very neutral, meaning it's it's sort of basic in a way, but there's nothing wrong with that, I don't think. Um, it feels comfortable in my hand. If I hold on it very hard, the clip might actually kind of hit me. Let me think about that. It, it may hit me a little bit in a spot that I don't like. That's the only thing, I guess. Yeah, right, right here. See how like that kind of sticks out? For some reason, it's hitting a hot spot, but... Anyway, overall, you know, it's it's a really nice design. It's interesting, it's a statement piece. So if you're interested in something that's different, you know, kind of like a conversation starter, why not? Especially the massive Mastodon. <laughs> I kind of like it. And I also love the CVV logo. Maybe it is because my name starts with a C, so it kind of feels like it was made for me in some ways. Anyway, it's just a few details that I like to um, touch on every now and then. I think I covered it all, you guys. Um, I don't think I missed everything or anything. If I missed everything, then what am I doing here? <laughs> all right, guys. So as always, you can follow me on Instagram. You can be a member here on my YouTube channel. Um, you can support me on Patreon. I have a Teespring store and all my links are actually in the description of every video I record. So please go ahead and take a peek at them. I have a ton of playlists, a lot of content, not only knife reviews, but also creative concealed carry ideas and some fun short videos for your entertainment. So check them out. As always, thank you so, so much for being here. I enjoy doing these reviews a lot and it helps me when I see you guys enjoying them as well. So hit that like button, consider subscribing and also leave me a comment if you'd like. Also remember, live feeds every Saturday at 9.30 p.m. Eastern Time. Um, I answer questions, I have a drink with you guys, and we have fun. So feel free to come and join me. I hope you have an amazing day, and I will see you soon in another knife review or creative concealed carry idea. See you soon. Bye.